players are ready. Tennessee will be kicking off to Carolina. I'm going to pass it on down to Robert here for his. Uh, uh, he's going to be interviewing the successful, uh, one of the successful Alabama players for the uh, uh, plate championship. I'm here with Dave from the University of Alabama after just their victory. Got some hardware there, so I'm, um, you know. What was the game plan and the strategy to coach you all players talk about before the game? Uh, we just wanted to stick to our original game plan, you know, just building the ball side to side. Uh, that's what Coach Eddie wants us to do to wear out the other team and, uh, you know, just walking in for easy tries on each other on the field. Definitely finding space out there. was just got a lot of communication to her out there, you know, because we know rugby communication is key. So what was going on out there on the field when you are talking? Uh, you know, whenever we're taking the ball in, you know, we have someone in our ear telling us what to do, whether it's, you know, it's support on a kickoff or a breakaway or even just going to deck when you're about to take a tackle. So, uh, obviously, communication is key. So, uh, we really had it out there pretty well. Just talking about this series, you know, three different tournaments, you know, this is the last final one. What do you think this has done to help, you know, develop y'all's team, you know, looking forward to next year as well? Uh, definitely. Uh, some of the younger guys had got tremendous experience out of these three tournaments. Uh, you know, we're really gutted that uh, we didn't get the win today. That's what we were looking for. But uh, we really laid a solid foundation for next year. Good. So thank you very much. Go enjoy the team get win with the team, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you. As we get back to the game here in the uh, in two minutes into the game, and Carolina have run the ball almost a hundred meters to score. And have yeah, put. as I was Sean Barnes with a try, I mean, that play developed back in the Carolina, just outside the 35-yard line. They moved the ball quickly, and it got to the outside. And uh, Sean Barnes basically ran 60 yards through the defense and uh, beat a couple of tacklers and scored between the posts. And with a successful conversion by Key in South Carolina, go to a 7 to nothing start with approximately almost three minutes into the game. But uh, great, great run by uh, Sean Barnes there. Carolina now get to put the ball back in the air to Tennessee. Kean kicking off. A little chip shot. <clears throat> Some good strong run. Carolina up to it. They're not contesting possession in that ruck, so they're going to try and realign their defense. But uh, and a loose pass from Tennessee. But they get to regroup. Good strong tackle. Pont in there for the tackle. Carolina again not contesting, leaving that one alone. Making sure their defense is in place. Cochran contesting but cleared out of that ruck. Tennessee with some good long passes out wide. Good catch, good pass. Got the overlap here. One of the big, stronger runners, but uh, DuPont coming in for a good, hard tackle. Kean with another good, hard tackle. And Tennessee not releasing the ball. Bollenbach got him in the ruck. Quick to the, quick into the ruck. Quick contest, and Tennessee not releasing the ball. So it's a penalty to Carolina. As Carolina's making every tackle count, they're uh, really coming up fast in defense, and they're not missing their man. So, uh, so far... And bowling back a nice little backhanded well pass, unloading to Kean, who throws a long pass out wide into Carolina again. No knock on there. It came off his knee, I believe, but hands in the ruck. Penal penalty against Carolina. So Tennessee can switch it around quickly here. They've decided that they're going to put it into touch, I believe, and take a line out to restart play, play. Right on the halfway line. Tennessee line out. A bit over four minutes into the game. South Carolina with the lead in the South Carolina in the uh, uh, SEC Rugby Championship game. Carolina up early. Easy ball for Tennessee. They throw it out wide, try and do a switch, but not making any forward progress there. They've lost about five yards from the line out, but in reversing direction, they're right back under attack. Carolina holding their defensive line, but 
Tennessee again, moving it across quickly. Key in clearing out one of the Tennessee players, but in giving it to, um, giving that uh, just gives uh, Leatherwood the opportunity at a break in the defensive line. He was on. And it should be an easy, easy conversion for Leatherwood, who will uh, convert his own try and should make it a seven ball game. Indeed, he does. So, can't get any closer. Jeff, 7 7. No, absolutely. Probably about not. a minute so to go in the first half. They even matched half at the moment. I thought South Carolina had the initiative in the first few minutes, but uh, Tennessee with that try came storming back. And I'll have to watch those gaps in their defensive line. A little bit longer kickoff. Pont taking it up. Good offload over the top, but Cochran has knocked the ball on. And Tennessee will have the advantage of starting with a scrum in the Carolina half to restart play. Tennessee line said back line setting itself deep here. Should probably be the final possession of the uh, first half. Playing seven minute halves in the final. On the fingertips, but he was able to retrieve it. And Leatherwood going wide again. He's thrown into touch. A little bit of chatter there from the uh, uh, Carolina number 12, Thomas Kaur. But uh, at the end of the first half, South Carolina 7, Tennessee 7. Yeah, very evenly matched here today, uh, these two teams. It's uh, been a strong first half, and uh, I think as a a sign as a championship game, the possession has been maintained. There hadn't been a lot of loose passes or drop balls, and uh, it shows the caliber of these two teams in this uh, championship final. But uh, it's very evenly poised, and uh, it, uh, it'll be a, a strong second half to watch, and I think we'll see some excellent rugby. Yeah, I think both of them are, um, are uh, obviously experienced sides, and that ball's going across and back the field is about as wide as you can get, 70 metres, so it'll be... Uh, See who's the fittest in the end here, and um, it'll be a very interesting second seven minutes. Both teams moving back here. Carolina should be kicking off to Tennessee in the second half. Last seven minutes of the South East Conference Sevens Rugby Championship. South Carolina taking on Tennessee in this Cup Championship final. We're in Columbia, South Carolina. Been a great day, Jeff. Weather's perfect. Scores 7-7 in the final. An exciting finish coming up. Brian Keehan, probably uh, Carolina's best player so far today, kicking off. It's juggled but taken by Tennessee. Carolina defense pushing number four backwards there. Carol Tennessee setting the ball though and setting their offense, flinging it wild, wide. And a big looping one handed offload. Carolina not, not contesting that uh, ruck. I believe the referee is playing some advantage there, but. Uh, Penalty advantage yeah, to Tennessee. The penalty. South Carolina went in from the side, and uh, that's the reason for the penalty. Even though South Carolina was uh, looking like they were going to score, penalty to Tennessee. Tennessee will be going for the line again and trying to restart with a line out. I don't believe he's made it, and Keen has the ball. 
Pond's been caught. The Tennessee defense is up very quickly in the contesting possession here, but Carolina retaining possession from Keen out to Cochran, who has the overlap. Tennessee's got two on one, uh, two defenders on one attacker, but uh, Cochran offloading inside. Back to Cochran. Setting the ball again. Send it. Balling back to Kean. And they do have the overlap if he draws them in. Oh, he goes himself. A high tackle by Tennessee. And I believe it's Skalka. Skalka has scored under the post. Not a very good attempt to at tackle. but uh, uh, That on try two. was really set up from uh, Dana Corcoran. Uh, Blunt-headed uh, flanker for uh, South Carolina who took the ball down that uh, right-hand side and, and made a strong run, and they swept the ball back across the field and uh, a good score uh, for South Carolina, which puts them up 12-7 uh, to 7 with the conversion to come. With that key in conversion, it'll be 14-7 game, but uh, Tennessee, and no doubt they're up to the task of coming back. Made some substitutes here, put some fresh legs in. A nice high kick from uh, from Kean and Tennessee have knocked it on. Knuckles tackled by I believe Callahan for Carolina but Tennessee immediately spins it to the opposite side of the field two tacklers in for Tennessee Carolina's over the top good chance they can turn the ball over here which they do Bolling back with a beautiful reserve reverse pass to Brian Keehan, who's going in under the post. Yeah, so it was a beautiful turn back inside from, uh, I believe it was Luke Bolling back to uh, Brian Cajon, and uh, the change of direction uh, put him free, and uh, in under the post he went. South Carolina extend their lead. And the conversion by conversion by Kean takes the score. Three tries, three conversions to Carolina. So it's a 21 point to seven win for Carolina in the Cup Championship final. Jeff, the quality of that pass from Bollum back to, to Kean, I think, sums up uh, you know, Carolina's performance in that final. It was. Uh, it was a uh, beautiful little pass. He switched directions. He had probably had uh, overlap on the outside, but he was able to switch directions for Kean, and Kean finished it off for him. He was, and uh, those two uh, played scrum half and fly half in uh, the Carolina 15s team, and I think obviously have a lot of uh, coordination, collaboration between them, and knew where each other was, and that was a, a great little change of direction and led to that final try. So a good win for South Carolina in the SCRC uh, championship game here in Columbia, South Carolina. And a great effort by, by Tennessee. They came on strong throughout the tournament and uh, put up a great effort here in the final. It, uh, until that last minute or so, that game was not secure for South Carolina. And that's all here from Columbia, South Carolina. The University of South Carolina Gamecocks beat the Tennessee Volunteers by a score of 21-7 to take home the SCRC Sevens Championship. It's all from here. I'm Robert McCacker.